Before we start slicing wood, let's take a brief look at some of the most popular types of drawer slides and also review some of the terminology used with drawer construction and installation. That way, we'll both be working with the same vocabulary. The drawer opening is the overall space into which the drawer fits. The side clearance is the amount of space between the edge of the drawer opening and the side of the drawer box. The specification sheet for drawer slides, especially side mounted types such as this, will tell you the side clearance you need to allow. So the overall width of the drawer box equals the drawer opening minus the two side clearances. The drawer box also requires top clearance. In this case, the drawer is considerably shallower than its maximum. You also need to allow a bottom clearance between the drawer box and its opening. Again, refer to the slide spec sheet for dimensions. And of course you need to allow clearance at the back of the drawer. This dimension becomes especially important if you team up your slide with a rear mounted socket or bracket. Now let's talk about how far the drawer extends out of the cabinet. This file cabinet has a full extension slide. That means that the entire drawer box moves out of the cabinet to provide easy access. And there are even slides that provide overextension to move the box even further forward. That could be important if you have a countertop overhang or other obstruction. More economical slides are called single extension, and they permit only a portion of the drawer box to move out of the case. Two-thirds or three-quarters are typical extension ratios. The portion of the box that remains inside the cabinet is called the extension loss. You'll notice that the cabinet member of a slide usually doesn't go all the way to the front plane of the cabinet. This distance is called the setback. The setback dimension helps establish a small space between the drawer front and the cabinet carcass. This is called the drawer gap. Without this space, the two surfaces would bang against each other, stressing the wood, rubbing off the finish, and making an annoying racket. In most of the drawers that we'll make today, the drawer box itself is separate from an applied front. This is also called a false front. Typically, the sides, front, and back of a drawer box are all the same thickness, about one half inch. The bottom recess of a drawer is the distance between the lower edge of the bottom and the edge of the drawer side. This is usually not a critical dimension, and the typical bottom recess is about one fourth inch. But the bottom recess is a critical dimension when you build drawers with bottom mounted slides. As you can tell, the spec sheet for your drawer slide is useful for more than just starting a fire. Now that you understand what all the various terms mean, you can study the specifications online before ordering your slides to make sure that they'll do exactly what you need. And of course, it's a great idea to have all the hardware in your shop before you start building the cabinets or drawers. That way, you can ensure that all of your cabinets have solid anchoring points for the slides.